welcome to the cozy cabin again. I have such a fun time planned for us. I'm very excited. Well, today we're going to talk about the letter U. Here's the letter U. And if you look up here, this is an umbrella. If we put the letter U right there, it spells umbrella. Can you find an umbrella in our cozy cabin? Look above my head. There's one right there. And it has a really cool pattern. Can you find the pattern in the umbrella? Look up here. Orange, blue, orange, blue, orange, blue, orange, blue. We have a patterned umbrella. Well, how cool is that? Well, U makes the uh sound. U makes the uh sound. You can be at the beginning of a word, like umbrella, and sometimes you can be in the middle of the word. So we will learn that B makes the B sound. U makes the A uh sound. And remember G? G is the G, G. So B, A, G. Bug. Now we have the next word. The letter D makes the D sound. D, A, G. Dug. I dug a hole. And I saw a bug in my hole. Well, let's look at the next one. Remember what sound H makes? If you put your hand at your mouth and go, huh, 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 you can feel the hot air on your hand. Huh. H makes the H huh sound. Let's put a U in the, on the line in the middle of this word. Hug. Hug. I like to get a hug before I go to bed at night. Let's look at the next one. We're going to put a U here. Make the letter R. R -ug. Rug. Do you have a rug at your house? And the last one, we're going to put a U here. T makes the T sound. T -ug. Tug. Grab the end of my rope and let's play tug of war. You tug on it. So we have words that rhyme. They're in a word family. Boys and girls, you just read some words. That was very good. You can go back and practice these words all on your own. And I know you can do it. Well, let's practice how we make the letter U. We start at the top. We come down, back up, and down again. Remember at school, I would say, you kind of make a smiley face. There's our smiley face. Here's our eyeballs. There's our smiley face. And you likes to have a little curl on her ponytail. You makes the uh sound. It can be at the beginning of a word, like umbrella, or it can be in the middle of the word, like we talked about. Well, that was very good. You did a good job with that. I would like to read you a story about one of my friends. This is the ugly duckling. Poor little guy. Ugly does start with the letter U. Uh, uh, ugly. We don't really use it very often because it could hurt somebody's feelings. This is my ugly duckling and I'm going to tell you a story about him. This is the story of the ugly duckling. One bright summer's day, Mommy Duck called to the other ducks. Quack, quack. My eggs are about to hatch. Come and see. One by one they hatched and out popped six little yellow ducklings. But the largest egg of all still hadn't opened. Then all of a sudden, the big egg began to crack. Oh, gasped Mommy Duck. The last duckling wasn't small or yellow. It was big and gray. What an ugly duckling, quacked another duck. The next day, Mommy Duck proudly took all of her ducklings to the farmyard to meet the other animals. The ugly duckling waddled forward. He's so big, neighed the horse. He's so gray, mooed the cow. Nobody wants me, whispered the poor ugly duckling. He waddled sadly across the field, leaving the family behind. Soon the ugly duckling came to a river where there were some geese swimming. Have you ever seen any duckling that looks like me? 
asked the brave ugly duckling. No, no, honked the geese. <coughs> so the unhappy duckling swam away down the river. When darkness fell, the ugly duckling found shelter in an old barn. He was just settling down in the straw when he heard a noise. <coughs> a gray cat was watching him. Uh, may I stay here? the ugly duckling asked. Can you catch mice? <coughs> I don't think so, the ugly duckling replied. Then you're of no use here. Alone and afraid, the ugly duckling waddled on. The ugly duckling came to a big lake. Even the frogs on the lily pads seemed to be laughing at him. As he hid in the reeds, the ugly duckling saw a flock of beautiful white birds flying high in the sky. I wish I looked like them, the ugly duckling sighed. He hid in the reeds all winter long, ashamed to even show his face to anyone. When spring finally arrived, the ugly duckling had grown older. He heard birds calling overhead. He peered out of his hiding place and saw some beautiful white birds had landed on the lake beside him. Why are you hiding? Come and join us, said one. The ugly duckling didn't understand why these beautiful birds would be talking to him until suddenly he saw his reflection in the water. Oh, I'm not an ugly duck after all. I'm a beautiful swan, he cried. Just then he heard a familiar sound. Six young ducks were waddling along the river bank with their mother. Look at the beautiful swan, the young ducks quacked. The mommy duck recognized her ugly duckling at once. I always knew he was special, she said. Look at him now. The ugly duckling waved to the ducks, then stretched out his beautiful wings and flew off with his new friends. That is such a good story, and it has such a good message for us. Just because someone is different than us doesn't mean that we should say unkind things to him. Matter of fact, we should be very kind to them, and we should be a good friend and make them feel welcome to join us in whatever we're doing. That's an important lesson with the ugly duckling. Do you see the letter U there? That's a good letter. Well, we're going to push pause for just a minute, and we're all going to stand up and stretch. So you push pause, and we'll stretch. Well, hi, did you have a good stretch? I did. It was nice to stand up for a minute and stretch it out. Well, I'm glad you're back. We have two words that start with the letter U. The first word you could easily write all by yourself. U, P, up, up, stand up. Then we sit down. Then we stand up. You can play that game. And here's another word, under, under. We go over some things, but we can also go under things. That reminds me of a really good story that we like to act out at preschool called Going on a Bear Hunt. So get up, here we go. You can say it with me. We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Oh no, grass, tall, tall grass. Well, we can't go over it. We can't go under it. We've got to go through it. Here we go. Get your hands ready to make our grass sound. Swish, 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 swish. Good. Here we go again. We're going on a bear hunt. Ready? We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. It's a beautiful day. We're not afraid. Oh, no. It's a river. A cold, deep river. Well, we can't go over it. We can't go under it. We've got to go through it. Let's make some splashing sounds. Splash, 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 splash. Good job. Here we go again. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. It's a beautiful day. We're not afraid. Oh, no. It's mud. Thick, oozy, gooey mud. Well, we can't go over it. We can't go under it. We've got to go through it. Here we go. Squishy, squishy. 
squish, squish. Can you feel it on your toes and your shoes? Squish, squish, squish. Okay, we're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. It's a beautiful day. We are not afraid. Oh, it's a cave. It's a narrow, gloomy cave. Ooh, it's a shiny, wet nose. It's two furry ears and two googly eyes. Ah! It's a bear! Let's go! Hurry! We gotta go through the mud. Squish, 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 squish. Back through the river. Splash, 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 splash. Through the grass. Squish, 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 squish. Into the house. Shut the door. Boom! Up the stairs. Jump on the bed. Pull up the covers. Over our head. Now we're gonna peek out. Oh. We're not going to go on a bear hunt again for a very long time. Wasn't that a good story? I love that story, and I love to act it out. We talked about the word under. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We have to go through it. Well, let me erase these words, and we're going to very quickly review two of our numbers. The number seven over and down, and the number eight. I hope you were practicing your eights. Remember, we make the letter S, and we go back up and we close it in. We make the letter S, and we go back up and close it in. I got some really cool S's from Gage. He sent me a picture, so I know Gage was making some S's and some eights. Good job, Gage. Well, I want to teach you a game that you can play at home. Just a minute, I'll be right back. Got us an umbrella and a bowl. Why do we need a bowl, Mrs. Kapanka? Because our umbrella needs to sit in the bowl so it doesn't rock away and move. Now, if you look at our umbrella, I put some numbers. One with one dot, two two dots, three, three dots, four, four dots, five, five dots, six, six dots, you're right. And I got some balls. Now what you're gonna do is you can play this game with your mom or dad or anybody in the family and you can keep track of points. I'll just come back here. At your house, you'll have more room than my house. So watch. Oh, I got two points. Three points. Four points and you have to say the number where your ball lands and then if you want to or maybe somebody that's older can help you add up your numbers put them together and see how many points you have well this is going to be a really fun game to play so you need an umbrella you need to make some number cards one two three four five six and you can write all of those numbers I'm very confident about that and then like I said you need a bowl because without the bowl, look what happens. It gets all tippy. So I put a bowl under there so it sits straight. This will be a fun game. I like to play this game too. Well, it's hard to believe that our time is just about up. Let's remember the things we've talked about today. We talked about the letter U. We talked about the ugly duckling. Going on a bear hunt. Our umbrellas. The number seven. The number eight. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, which are number cards that you can make at home and play our fun umbrella game. Well, I'm going to say goodbye for now, but before I go, let's sing our little song. I'll see you on Friday, on Friday, on Friday. I'll see you on Friday, the next day of school in our cozy little cabin. Bye-bye.